Hello everyone, my name is Anne and welcome back to my channel and in this video I will share and tell you a little bit of the background of each invited artist for the opening and the interval acts. Just in case you are a foreigner and you wonder about these Portuguese guys and what they do, what's their music like. So let's start by our traditional music which is called Fado. We will be having a perfect representation of Fado with Marisa and Ana Moura. Both of these singers obviously sing Fado. But let me just give you a context here, tell you a little bit about Fado. So the traditional instruments of it are classical guitar and Portuguese guitar. And usually the singer sings about sad feelings, you know, about missing someone, about um, pain, about destiny. But nowadays we have modern Fado, which is actually quite fun to listen to. It's not like in the old days, but it's always good to know what Fado really is traditionally. So Marisa and Ana Moura are two of the biggest names of our country and they were able to freshen up Fado and make everyone enjoy it once again. So the modern Fado is way lighter than the traditional one. Both of them are insanely great singers. They are amazing and I'm sure everyone will enjoy their great voices so much. They usually sing alone, but I think on Eurovision they will sing together. I'm not really sure, but that's what I heard. And such amazing artists together, we can only expect the best. Okay, now let's talk about something different, something more modern. We will be having the Beat Bombers, which were the guys that um, did the soundtrack for the Eurovision 2018 propaganda, you know. They mixed our fad with urban music, it turned out really cool. There are two guys, one of them is called DJ Ride and the other one is called Stereosauro and they work both alone, both together. Their work is extremely cool, they are very creative and very talented DJs and they will be providing us the soundtrack during the flag parade. We will also have another DJ, his name is Branco and he will be giving to the audience a tour through electronic sounds of Portuguese speaking countries such as Portugal, Brazil, Cape Verde, Angola showing us a bigger musical culture and bringing the electronic sounds and the traditional sounds together I actually think this will be a very nice moment for the show And of course the next artist, you probably already know him, Salvador Sobral he was the winner of Eurovision 2017. He was the only Portuguese winner, so he is someone to remember. <laughs> he will sing Amar pelos dois, the song from last year, and he will also sing his upcoming single. You guys already know his sweet voice and his unique way of singing, so yeah, we already have an idea of what to expect from him. <laughs> Now, this is a surprise, he will not just be singing alone. The great Caetano Veloso will sing together with him. Caetano Veloso is a very famous bossa nova Brazilian musician who was really supportive towards Salvador last year and now he will be singing on Eurovision with Salvador. <laughs> Their duet is something that I am really looking forward to. It will be a very emotional moment since they are both very good quality singers. I think all these artists were a great choice and they will represent Portugal perfectly and the Portuguese language since Caetano Veloso is not Portuguese but he speaks Portuguese they will show to the world what we do here in Portugal and they will be awesome, I'm sure I am so looking forward to see their performances well then, this is it hope you enjoyed the video and hope it was informative and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe bye